Hello you guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me again, Anna. And today we are gonna talk about relationship on paano mo nga ba malalaman kung siya na ang dawan mo or how will you know if he or she is the one for you. Keep watching and I will tell you the 11 sign on how to know. If you are new to my YouTube channel and haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and hit that notification button for my next upcoming video. Thank you very much. So, let's start the sign. Ang isang malaking katanungan, paan mo nga ba malalaman kung siya na ang dawan mo? Ang hirap ng tanong na yan, di ba? I don't think ako lang yun uh, nagtatanong ng mga ganyan klaseng tanong. Kapag ikaw ay may boyfriend or may partner ka or kahit nga kasama mo, kasama mo na sa buhay or asawa mo na, minsan tinatanong mo siya ba talaga ang para sa akin? Kasi may mga sign kasi na nagpapakita minsan na hindi siya ang para sa iyo. And ngayon, sasabihin ko yung mga sign na you can tell if he or she is the one for you. Keep watching. So, how do you know if he is the one? Or paano mo nga ba malalaman kung siya na ang the one mo? Ang sagot dyan, is, kapag ang isang tao ay ang the one, you are attracted to them physically, mentally, and emotionally. May mga sign na nagpapahiwatig na ang taong nakikipag-date sa you o kahit kasama mo na sa buhay ay the one or maaaring hindi ang para sa iyo. Yes! <laughs> Paano mo nga ba malalaman kung ang minamahal mo ay ang iyong pag-ibig sa buhay or the love of your life? Unang sign, hindi deal breaker sa iyo ang kanilang mga imperfections at saka mga negativity. Being in love can keep you seeing the imperfection in your partner. You heard the saying, love is blind or bulag ang pag-ibig. Hindi totoo yan, tao ang bulag sa pag-ibig. <laughs> Kasi hindi mo nakikita yung mga imperfections nila when you are truly in love with that someone or you just don't acknowledge any negativity or, infer or their imperfections. When you're in love, naniniwala ka na lahat ng bagay tungkol sa kanya is perfecto. Ito ang dahilan kung bakit maraming tao ang gumagawa ng hindi magandang pagpili ng pangmatagalang relasyon. If you have found the one, you are aware that they aren't perfect. But their imperfections are not deal breakers to you. Ibig sabihin, kahit hindi sila perfecto, tanggap mo yon, Kasi yun ang pagkataon nila. Kaya nga, some suggest that dapat makipag-date ka muna ng minimum 2 years bago ka magpasya kung siya na ba ang dawan. By this time, they will show you their real self. Actually, minimum of 6 months, they will start showing their personality, their characteristic, all the attitude, either good or bad. Usually, they are showing it to you by this time because they become comfortable with you already. So, by two years, is a little bit longer. And actually, by this time around, you know everything about them. Pangalawang sign, they are committed to working at the relationship with you or nakatuon ang focus nila para i-work out ang relasyon ninyong dalawa. Ang dawan ay may iba't ibang karakteristik or katangian tulad ng compatibility, chemistry, fun, admiration, love, respeto, and sense of humor. I think the most important quality of the one is the commitment to work the relationship with you and wants to do that with you. Especially during the hard times and good times. Kasi lahat ng na-mention ko mga qualities and characteristics ay ipinapakita nila during dating time around like pag boyfriend or girlfriend pa lang kayo. Pinapakita nila yung mga good characteristic that they are good. But then uh, you need to really differentiate kung ano ang mga 
yung sign na the one talaga para sa inyo. During hard times, paano mo ba magpapatuloy ang inyong relasyon kung hindi nyo kayang i-work out ang mga simple little things like fights, you know, that kind of stuff, little quarrels and stuff like that. Finding someone who wants to work at it with you is the key or susi na nagsasabing siya na ang dawan mo or siya na ang pinagpala sa buhay mo. <laughs> Pangatlong sign. Pangatlong sign. Na ilalabas nila ang pinakamahusay na version mo or they bring out the best version of you. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? When we are in a healthy relationship, we are usually happier and healthier. I'm not talking about, you know, fat kind of healthy because sometimes I know a lot of people when you are with someone, they tell you when you gain weight, they tell you, oh, tumaba ka, hiyam ka sa kanya. <laughs> I'm not talking about that kind of healthy, ah. Huh? I'm talking about emotionally, physically, and spiritually as well. Kung ang iba pang party ng iyong buhay ay yung mayabong, ito ay maaari rin dahil sa iyong partner. Kasi, they bring out the best in you. So, you are doing best thing in life because you are happier and you are healthier. And you want them to be proud of you more. So, you know, sometimes when you are in a happy mood, you want to do a lot of good things. Like, you want to jump. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Even in relationship, it applies as well. When your relationship is solid, you are confident to explore other aspects of your life. Kung ang partner mo naniniwala sa iyong ability that you can accomplish anything and they express their support to you, you are capable to achieve great things in life because someone is there to support you, to push you grow and uh, help you and always gonna be there no matter what is it. A healthy relationship have that nice balance of making us feel accepted and challenging us to grow. I experienced this type of person. Um, he is very, very supportive. He believes in me, in my capability, and my ability to achieve goals and my dreams. And with his help and his advice, his financial help as well, I am where I am right now because of him. Sign number four. Your values, goals, and must have align. Ang dawan ay mayroon lahat ng katangiang hinihiling mo sa isang partner. Katulad ng katalinuhan, respeto, pan, meron siya ng dreams and goals as well. Idadagdag ko ang aking must have. Kailangan meron siya ng abs, mayaman, at saka guwapo. <laughs> sense of humor, napapatawa ka kahit galit ka, mga ganong klaseng tao, pag mayroon kang nahanap na napapatawa ka kahit na galit na galit ka na at gusto mo na siyang patayin, <laughs> ikip mo ang taong yan kasi they are trying their best to do something to make you happy even you're angry, even they're the one to make you angry, they do something ridiculous so that it will be better again with you. And that's what I said earlier about working things out with you, especially during hard times. So, when you find someone like that, keep it. Keep him or her. <laughs> he will be your, the one. <laughs> Sign number five. You feel safe being your authentic self around them. The one makes you feel loved and secure. You are able to be yourself and feel accepted. They make you want to be your best self and they bring that out in you. Alam mo yung glow na sinasabi? Nagugulo ka kapag ikaw ay masaya sa yung relasyon, kapag confident ka na yung kasama mo sa buhay ay okay siya, you will see those positive outcomes when you are in a good relationship or you are with the one. Person. You are not scared of their reaction when you want to tell them something that may be hard to say or hear. Mayroong balansi ang pakipag-ugnayan mo sa kanya. When someone is truly the one, 
gagawa sila ng paraan para makasama ka. Hindi nila pipiliin ang mga kaibigan nila kasi mas prioridad ka kaysa mga kaibigan nila. At ikaw ang importante para sa kanila at makikinig sa iyo kahit hindi sila sumasang ayon at susuportahan ka hindi lang financially but overall support. There will be a feeling of comfort like you fit together. You can be yourself without fear of rejection and criticism. Sign number six. You give each other's space or binibigyan nyo ng espasyo ang bawat isa. Alam kong masarap silang kasama most of the time pero minsan kailangan din natin mag breathe out and breathe in. <laughs> <laughs> Ako, I need some space sometimes because I need to make my video and I need quiet time. <laughs> but yes, if they wanted to go with their friends, let them. You know, it's good for you, it's good for them, I think. So, yes, give them space. Now, let's go to side number seven. You compromise. He or she makes sacrifices for you and you are happy to do the same for her or for him. Example, she wants to eat in a Jollibee and he wants to eat in McDonald's. But because he loves her or because she loves him, vice versa, whatever you want to do it, um, he would go to Jollibee with her so she can get these chicken legs from Jollibee. The spicy chicken legs. <laughs> then after she finished eating, he can go to McDonald's and get his double burger. Yes, that kind of compromise. Sign number eight. Kahit matagal na kayong nagsasama, he or she still do little things for you. Example, he went out and when he comes back, he has a flower for you that he picked from his neighbor's garden <laughs> he's still a flower for you so you should appreciate it <laughs> or when he come home he brings you a balut yes i miss balut little things that they are thinking of you and you are always in their mind that kind of stuff it doesn't have to be material things you know and sign number nine when he or she tells you that I miss you. When he or she tells you that I miss you, isn't it just a sweetest thing to say? But he or she really means it. I am sure when you found this one, you will eventually experience and know what I'm saying. Sign number 10. He or she tells you out of the blue that you look hot or you are handsome yes <laughs> we want to hear someone compliment us especially during the time when we're ugly looking <laughs> when we don't shower when we still didn't brush our teeth and they want to kiss you <laughs> when someone uh, tell you that you look great even though you, you know that you look shit <laughs> So, sign number 11, the last but not the least. It just feels right. You know when you know. Minsan, ang ebidensya na nagpapatunay na siya na nga ang the one is the feeling that you get in your gut. Knowing if someone is truly the one for you is often about learning to hear your inner voice and trusting your judgment. Naramdaman ko ito na makilala ko ang aking asawa, ang my first love and my last true love. I know when I see him that he is someone very, very special. And I know that I will be married to him. And two years later, we got married. <laughs> So yes, you just know if he is the one really honestly. When you see them, when you meet them, you just have this um, 
voice in you tells you that and if you enjoy spending time with this person and you know you can be completely yourself around them you shared a good communication and problem solving skills then maybe he or she might be the one for you so yes that's how you know if he or she is the one for you thank you very much for watching and if you enjoy watching this video please share like and comment and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and i will see you soon on my next upcoming video have a good day and see you soon bye bye Mwah.